Hello, 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 and uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel. I think I'll be perfectly audible. Yeah, I'll increase the game volume. I think it is set to a bit low, but yep. Hello, and welcome to the round nine of JKG Gaming season two in F1 23. Here we are in Austria short circuit but uh, nonetheless one of the circuit where we can see multiple overtakes happening and uh, even we can witness some incident happening on the first turn itself so quite some action uh, we'll go for a short quali then we'll move on to sprint and then to our main event the race so right now we have 12 people on the grid in the not on the grid right now in the pit lane and uh, first to come out is Zarchit and the Williams. Everyone choosing to come out on the soft compound. We'll, we'll try to go on board with uh, as many drivers as possible throughout the whole session. Right now we are with Archit. Driving the Williams, we are missing uh, our usual suspect, our usual uh, pole sitter Aradhya Gupta today, so he's not here. We do have quick killer, so yep, and we we might see something, uh, some uh, new faces on the podium today in this round nine. So yeah, let's wait and see what will happen. Now comes the last two right-handers, which will take you to the main straight. And uh, that will commence the first hot lap for Archit and uh, we'll stay on board with him as he'll go and try to put a decent time on the sheet. First turn down to fourth gear, third gear. We've chosen the lower gear. So getting a good exit out of it and uh, run full throttle up the hill till you slow down and uh, take a sharp right-hander then you'll go down the hill to another right-hander this is our second DRS zone go down the hill the right-hander we already have a caution flag I think one of the slow car on the track so that is it now a couple of left-hander I must say not slow like medium pace uh, left-handers which will then take you along the right curve to our fast right-handers where track limits uh, are something which people have to keep in mind it's quite easy to go out on these limits and as Archit crosses the line to 105.620 the first time on the sheet I think Ajay Kumar is also on his hot lap as he go down the hill and the right. Right now the Archit has put a time. Now Redman has put up a time of 107 and Vision now 106.773 will stick with Ajay Kumar. Go through these medium speed left handers. Going down these fast right handers, uh, right. the car inside and crosses the line to P3 with a 106.835. So, uh, none of the time driver has reached to that 105 period. I think you can't see me in the house, which I can see. It's on a hot lap, but uh, we'll go across the line. Uh, but still, we have a valid lap. Uh, that will take him to P2. I don't know about the limits there, but Ajay is out of the session somehow. And also, his red man. They have red man somehow totaled his car in entering into the pits. <laughs> that is something which I wasn't expecting. What happened in the... Oh my god. 
that is not good. As we on board now with Sid Venkatesh in the Red Bull on his first hot lap, I suppose. Going down the hill this time. We just have a sound check. Purple in the middle sector, Sid Venkatesh. So Vision has entered into the 105, but uh, Archit in, in the pits and on provisional pole as Sid Venkatesh uh, trying to manage his car under the line and enters and oh, goes to pole. That's, I think he could have gone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I think he could have gone uh, much more faster. I saw him break early on that uh, right hander, fast right hander. So, uh, Sid Venkatesh in the Red Bull on a provisional pole right now as Archit has come out. We are still awaiting any time from I am that hit, quick killer and deadly mosquito. Deadly mosquito trying to take all the slipstream he can take from his teammate I suppose there. Not teammate, I think that was... That was teammate. No, that was not the teammate. That was Archit, I think. So yeah, trying to get the toe. Uh, going through the middle part of the track. On to the final sector. You Can't See Me has gone to the pole now with the timing of 105.418. And now... Oh, Deadly Mosquito with a 105.9. So people are entering in 105 and uh, even going uh, 105.4. That is pass off. You can't see me. People can name themselves better than that, I suppose. But uh, as I can see, Humble God gave a purple sector in the second sector as a purple. And uh, we have yellow flags in the last sector. I don't know why those are being flown. But uh, yeah. Here goes the effort of uh, Humble God in the McLaren. Which goes to pole. And that is 105.208 for Humble God in the McLaren. That's his car on at prime pole position for now. I think Garchit might just try now. To somehow gain into 104, I, I suppose. That will be the next limit. As we'll now go on board with Garchit. Uh, currently P4 in the Williams. I think one last ditch effort. No, no, there is still nine. Good uh, nine minutes left, so I don't think so. This will be the last effort coming out of Archit or anyone per se. Not improving in the first sector. Trying to get that two okay. <laughs> from one of the Alpines. As one of the Alpines did it earlier with him. So, yep. Favors being shared on track. Improving by a tenth in the second sector. Now taking on the last corner. Keeping car inside the line and he will cross the line and will... Get his car to P2 with the timing of 105.315. Mm, that was that was a nice lap anyhow. And do I see someone in the com box? Yes. I do. Hey, Sachin. Hey, see and hear. Good, I'm good, back. mate. I will just I was just thinking about that. Uh, as I'm getting uh, you know, I'm having yawns and uh, <laughs> getting a bit lazy being alone in the com box. But good to have you here. Yeah, thank you. 
thank you welcome everyone welcome all the viewers to our live stream we are yet again racing at austria and if you have kept up with the channel you obviously know of the massacre that was a collaboration friendly race with the uh, sim racing heat but hopefully you want to see as much action going on here because uh, you know our drivers race pretty clean uh, okay so yeah so far we have a humble god who is the fastest uh, whom are we looking at what are we looking at sachin today so we don't have our usual uh, suspect aradya gupta to be on the pole and uh, quick killer has just come out on the out lap so i suppose he might just go on to the pole but uh, yeah new faces in the top 3 today one humble god being in the mclaren and uh, haas of you can't see me on p3 so we might see new faces on the podium also which uh, i can predict So, ladies and gentlemen, today I think we are going to have a spin weekend, and there's a spin. There's a massive spin with Saif Venkatesh going into that hairpin. Almost lost the control of his car while he was on his out lap. I think uh, the investigation would be regarding the Red Bull and the McLaren. I think got impeded a bit, but since it was an out lap, won't matter much. But yeah, pretty scary in my opinion. At P4 right now, with a time of 105.5. So yeah. Yep, I think I know. Quick killer is going on his first hot lap. I must tell you, he has been sit sitting in the pits and just noticing the timings of other cars, and now he has come out. Ah, that's great. We think we will have, you know, <laughs> uh, someone would uh, try to beat Humble God today. A uh, new face, in my opinion. Let us see what he can do in the McLaren. Followed by Urchit in the Williams, and then uh, Haas is there. You can see this time the Haas today with Fred Venkatesh, along followed by the two Alpines. Ah oh, man, and where do we have ABD today? He's not. ABD is uh, uh, yeah, he hasn't joined it. Uh, I suppose he might just join later, but uh, not till now. I see. So yeah, everyone currently is running in the one o five. That's That's good. That's good But I've seen two purples coming out of Quick Killer till now, so uh, uh, yeah, we might just see one of fours here. Oh, let's see if he can break into the one of fours in his first hot lap, and Quick Killer will come around the final turn and goes. And that is one of four. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. All right. Hey, okay. Our uh, good old championship leader currently. On his, you know, he actually broke into the one of those. That's pretty good, but still a lot of time left. He can obviously dive into the pits and then try to beat his current lap. Anyhow, wait, do we see any other? I think yeah. humble God will now go on to attempt uh, to be, you know. Yeah, yeah, but he the... isn't. Yeah, but he's already on his uh, hot lap, in my opinion, and uh, is not giving as much uh, throttle right now. Now I think he will. Yep, now he has taken off, and I right. think. Yep, DRS on, DRS deployed, and on to his attempt to break that. I see. He says his first lap must have not gone the, his way, so I think he will try to reattempt this uh, uh, final hot lap. I think he should have taken this time to dive into the pits and, you know, try to recuperate, give a, give himself some rest, or he won't get any much time. But he is off by only half a tenth right now, going into the first sector. Currently going downhill. So yeah, I think he, he quickly might have a challenge. In my opinion, currently at approaching turn four, this hairpin is obviously very infamous. Then yep. turn five goes on to turn six from here on. So do we see any improvements, my man? Do you think he can give quickly a run for his money? See, right now he hasn't improved, and yep, he is still not improving. So yeah, but there's a very small margin. If he can actually ace this. Last sector, maybe he can try to challenge, but uh, but four tenths yeah. is a huge gap yeah, to cover yeah, in the last yeah, sector. Yeah. So yeah. Right, but uh, turn nine and turn a vicious. Oh yep, uh, yeah that four tenth. He's still off by four tenths on his of his fastest lap. So yep, not improving. He might just go around and try once more, or you know, might we might just see him starting P two. Such as the Navi here. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So yeah, 
any of the most of the guys are in the pits right now we for three dnfs so ajay kumar is out guni is out rinman is out jagdish currently driving the black mercedes and yeah. he's a little bored yeah still still not out of the pits yet yeah he joined quite late i think he just joined in so i suppose that's why Yep. No issues, but yeah, as the clock is winding down, Jagdish is improving a little bit, five hundred, one hundred. But I think he might take this opportunity to dive into the pits. But yeah, still goes goes out to complete his lap. Like, will he improve his position? Goes from P eleven and stays on P eleven. Yeah, stays on P eleven. But yeah, three tenths improvement. That's commendable. But yeah, could have tried to challenge at least. Eight, P nine, or P ten, but yeah, that is still. I think he won't be giving it another try as there's not much of a margin of time left. But Jagdish is still improving by three tenths going <laughs> to the sector. All right, okay. So, but yeah. he's out of his ear, so I don't think right. him overall improving on this lap. Right, right. So currently, Sid Venkatesh has dived out. He is setting his this charts alive. Going into sector two is on soft tires. He was slow in his first sector, so uh, let's see if he improves in the second sector. He does improve. He does improve. So Dwinkadesh improves in the second sector. There is a Mercedes right in front of him. Uh, like I, let's see if there will be some impeding or the wave will be given out to him as he go around the last corner onto the main straight and. Uh, He improves by a tenth, and he is uh, P five. P five. Yeah, P five. Yeah. Yeah. No, not much improvement, but I, my sister also just indicated that A B D has joined our session today, and I think if he, I don't think he has taken any seat right now, but I would have loved him for him to take part. But yeah, it's all up for grabs because it's a spent weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. I think everyone. We might be in for a show if we get a race as chaotic as the last time we raced at Austria here. So every most of the guys have come out. They are already ready on his hot lap or are on their out lap. So Quickler right now currently improving by eight one hundreds. He will will try significantly to beat his own time. But I don't think anyone else will try to give him challenge. But uh, yeah. Archit has improved in his first sector, and he is just finishing up the second sector with an improvement of nearly two tenths. So oh, Archit is improving, and so does Quick Killer, I think. So oh, yeah, we might see some yeah. shuffle happening in the top three. It all comes down to if you can actually break into the one four, which is pretty tight. Where Archit comes around, goes from P four to P two. P two, oh, that that is. Great. Yep. Ah, nice. That That's was really a great lap. And the quick killer now will. Yeah. 12 seconds to go down, and actually, Humble Court has started his final lap. That's pretty great, and I don't think I'm that hit. A B D and E Level Court will not be taking part in the final competitive part of qualifying, and yeah, they will stay into the pit. So they shall not take part, will not challenge. But yeah, our top seven runners are finally on their final laps. As we see, Humble Court is Humble Court improving. Such as, do you think? I didn't see much improvement happening on the first sector, and I can see you can't see me's on P2 now in the Haas, and Archie has moved down to P3. Ah, that's great, man. That's an awesome lap from the Haas. Must have been. So, and our final, uh, yeah. Currently, Archie has just set a purple sector two. He is in his elements right now. He might try to go on to provincial pole, maybe if, uh, if the march is good enough. He comes around the final turn, goes from P3 back. Maybe yeah. No, he stays no P two. He yeah. stays P three. I'm sorry, and humble God also humble stays P four. So uh, yep, our order is set. I must say. And uh, quick yep. killer, quick killer goes. Okay, I think quick killer still has provision. Yep. Goal, but congratulations, ladies. Uh, quick killer, you have pole position for the sprint race. And obviously, everyone knows that anything can happen in sprint races, as we saw earlier in this league at Monza. So yep. yeah, don't be still count. Don't start counting your eggs yet because we still have a lot of racing action in front of us. Yeah, quite a like a margin between the P one and P two. That's fifteen thousandth of a second. I must say, oh, that's, that's a great uh, stuff from us. Game, just just a little bit heat required, but yeah, no problems, no issues. 
we still have a lot to go and yeah with 14 combatants today on the grid we have easy level bot who's also a contender and along with abd he is uh, who will also try to challenge for one of the scoring points today so yeah who, yeah we can so, see there there will be like much overtakes happening as easy level bot and abd starting from the back there are quite a few slow drivers in between them to the top 10 so we might see overtakes happening in the first part of the sprint like right away <laughs> right so yeah as the sprint is winding down i don't think there would be any need to make any strategic calls because you know there's no pit stop constraints play going into the sprint weekend and this part but yeah we will just uh, come about with how the strategy goes at this track at a red bull ring oh my god and it's okay. raining <laughs> yeah all right so ladies and gentlemen we are guaranteed you are guaranteed a lot of chaos going into this race and let us just try to see if you know how the drivers can cope up with this uh, unforeseen circumstance because uh, obviously we know that it rained during this year's sprint at austria and it was one hell of a sprint in my opinion so anything can happen. So whom do you think will ace the sprint today? I mean, somehow this this might just go down to who will survive the sprint race, not who will win the sprint <laughs> race. Uh, expecting uh, rain on the track like this where there are he heavy braking zones going into turn one, turn two. And like every turn is uh, apart from the second, third, second sector or third sector. Uh, like uh, there are quite heavy braking zones and in the rain it's quite easy for anyone be coming behind you missing them and you know bashing into you and creating right. chaos on the track so yeah right. survival and, and <laughs> yeah also the drivers have to be very careful going into turn four turn six and turn nine because obviously we have the uh, gravel trap there and obviously with this rain you can obviously make it easier it would be easier for you to skid off yep. and for turn nine you might end up losing your time and get penalized because the track limits are very strict in my opinion going into that turn yep 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 and also we also had three dr zones but i don't think they would be playing in much into effect because obviously it's raining today so yeah, such and sin. What do you think about their setup? Mm -hmm. uh, how what must what, what would they prefer today? I think they must be scrambling around and must be confused now. They might have just prepared for a dry session and now it's raining. And yeah, uh, I don't think so that everyone is quite prepared to race uh, on a rainy track. Right. It's so, just yep. to ensure that the best one person survives going to turn one and. Obviously, such as and take it away today. Yes, pipe lights go out here in the intermediate conditions uh, under the Air Valley in Austria and uh, Quickler having a good start on together and on the first. Uh, car and uh, the Goni has dropped out and one of the cars has not even started yet. It's the uh, oh my God. Light, I think. Yeah, okay. We had a bit of a chaotic start already. Yeah, even and Easy Level Bot is still stuck and he has been disqualified for parking at right. a dangerous location. Right, easy level bot actually didn't start, he must have stalled when the lights went out. So we have our first retirement and easy level bot has been disqualified from the season. And now, okay, there, this is a sprint race and why are we having a safety car? Why are we being yeah. muted? Oh, shit man, that is, that wasn't uh, expected. Safety car would probably take out like three or four laps out of a... Eight race, laps, eight yeah. Lap race, yeah. So I don't think anyone would be coming down into the pit. So ladies and gentlemen, just enjoy the Formula 1 procession that is being presented to you right now. <laughs> yep, because there is no racing right now. And I don't think so for the next couple of laps, you'll see any racing. So yeah, just enjoy these cars going around this beautiful circuit. <laughs> right. So currently, Red Man is at dead last. P12 ahead of him is Chuck Desh. ABD has made up a lot of positions <laughs> that owing to the, uh, you know, unluckiness of the two of the cars who are in front of him. Currently, he's sitting at P9. So yeah, most of the front row has been already taken out by the time they come to came to turn one today. So, Sajjantan, what are we looking at right now? I mean, first of all, I need, uh, I'll have to, I'll get to know after the race, obviously, but I need to know what happened with the easy level bot and Guni. Yeah, right. Uh, 
what I saw from the start was uh, the Haas actually went to the left side, somehow skidded off to the left side of the before they approached turn one and just uh, somehow managed to, you know, uh, smash his car real badly. And EC level bot had some kind of a stall. I don't know if it was uh, done by the intricacies of the EA engine, but uh, yeah. Uh, that was very unfortunate for the Ferrari. He would be starting dead last now as he was disqualified and didn't even throttle off when uh, the lights went out. So yeah, that is mighty. Case, yeah. yeah, mighty unfortunate. No points for him out of this. Uh, and um, yeah, Avery has uh, already come closer to having a go for points in the sprint session. Right, only the one of the Alpines and he will be in the points, but. The Alpines have a little bit of cohesion when it comes between them. Obviously, they'll try to keep fend off the Aston Martin, but uh, Humble God has dropped a, a little base. He's currently sitting at P4 right now. Uh, that is very unfortunate. And uh, yeah, still is currently P4. Actually, started before still is at P4. Archit, meanwhile, has Archit the loss of Vision has lost two positions. The Alpines have actually lost collectively. ABD obviously have made the huge gains. Uh, Should Venkatesh the Red Bull has gained up three positions. So yeah, already in the podium positions by the time uh, they came over to lap three in this sprint race today. And yeah, I would we would have seen much more action, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, the safety car is out, and nothing can be done. All they can do is maintain their as much uh, grip and temperature in their tires as possible. But it's pretty looking unlikely that uh, maybe anyone would try to make a bold move when the safety car comes in. In my uh, my opinion, that it, it will come in this lap. Yep, so it should, it should, it yeah. should. So uh, we just received a message from uh, news from Octavian uh, Easy Level Board that he got a bit late into getting into his seat, and uh, that's why he was not able to start his car. So <laughs> yeah, that's a funny one that his car was there, but he was not in the car. It was must have been like uh, if you imagine it in real life, you know, it's like a driver just sprinting and try to get into this car before the lights go out. So it, it is very something which might have happened if uh, we were racing in the 1990s. But yeah, pretty <laughs> funny situation. Yeah, yeah, unfortunate but also funny. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Guni as something has happened at the back with the collision between the Alpines and they are exchanging positions as ABD has somehow. Come okay, they have uh, they have come back to their respective right. positions. A, a right, deadly mosquito has just received a time penalty because due to all that mix up. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, why why do they always forget that there is no overtaking when they're in the safety car? But obviously, must have been got confused because Quick Killer has bent it off a lot and he goes out, goes away. He is going. Yeah, he out. has taken off. Yes, yeah. yep. Pretty clear from the P2 and uh, pretty clear from all the way back. So that's a good restart and also good restart for Archit as he's going alongside with Humble God and he will take that position away from Humble God, I suppose. As right. someone has jumped into the pits, no, but Humble God has come back and goes on to the inside and will take that P4 back away from Archit as I am that hit has taken advantage of all that chaos and taken P5 away from Archit as Vision is also keeping an eye on this fight front. Okay, so. Pretty much uh, good right. action happening out there as uh, Humble God goes wide. Also I'm going that, wide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm that he just capitalized on Urchid's Urchid and Humble God's tussle and has uh, taken P4 now. So, yeah, lots of action going down to the first lap and Redman has now received a three second time penalty. Obviously, in the McLaren yeah, guys won't be happy with this, but Humble God has dropped a lot of positions uh, when, uh, at the, yeah, when the safety card came in. And right now, ABD with his immense love. I can see Vision is quite closer to Humble God now. Humble God not having that grip after the restart. And yep, as you said, he has lost quite a few positions. Uh, now, ABD has entered into the points and quite clear of P9 as, oh my God, Vision and Humble God almost coming together. I don't know what was, uh, whose misjudgment was that, but uh, that was scary. Yeah, obviously the uh, Alpine had to go a little wide going to the start finish line. Obviously, as they approach turn one, obviously no DRS. It all comes down to how much you can conserve your battery. Try to make a move in this sport without losing control of your car, which is pretty risky. But 
obviously we have the quick killer he's already going away you can see me has a little bit of a gap there not in the drs uh, zone obviously we won't have we, we won't be having any drs so help but yeah he is cutting the gap a little bit maybe keep the track car on the track you might get lucky ajit kumar has now received a three second time penalty oh okay such as on every most of the players are receiving a time penalty going to the first lap and we already are almost midway into the sprint so that is time flies you know yeah um, see the that is uh sure that they'll be pacing as much as they can and in doing so they might just lose control of their car on the track and uh, austria is quite a easy track even in the dry session to you know receive a time penalty as we have seen in the real life also yeah. so yeah so obviously quick killer currently uh, you can see me has gone get what a purple sector three he will might try to give quick killer run for his money but uh, i think it might be a safer bet to just hold off for the remainder of the sprint try to make some moves if the race conditions in the future race are dry it's better to hold on to professional pole right now i don't think a deficit of a point would help him in the would uh, hurt him in the long run but yeah yep, yep, yep. the has is catching fire as i just saw he has just set a purple sector one so he is catching our leader in the alpha tori uh, you can see me must you must be careful these are very treacherous conditions and all you would be uh, waging is eight uh, one additional point and a professional pole which can be easily snatched if you can uh, you know go into turn one correctly but yeah the house is on it's let's take the lap right now yeah I mean, purple like, purple uh, sectors i can see and he is chasing him quite better than before and uh, the gap is now under a second under a tenth right. uh i think oh, the yeah. fact come to that uh, they are just fighting for a gap of one single point right right but uh, obviously we can see that's it bikitish uh, and uh, the distance between you can see me is about 4 seconds that is a pretty huge gap in my opinion so i think the, uh, we might have a intense battle going into the last two laps of the sprint between our front runners and and it can happen we have a sec caution flag in sector three yellow flags and it is seems to be a message yeah jagdish has spun a, a round okay uh, that won't help me and i didn't even mention anything <laughs> about the team so uh, yeah the, our running gag lady and gentlemen <laughs> but yeah, on, on our second last lap alpha tori is being chased by the has Uh, he would he try to make a move is it is it a safer bet i don't think so what do you think sachin uh, how is going to transpire right now abd is trying to make a move on the inside on down the hill goes deep and there is a switcher who happening and vision taking that position back away from abd in a drier session that move might have stick but uh, you know in a wet uh, condition like these uh, out breaking yourself will out break you all the way into the gravel I'm I'm glad the circumstances have worked out for the Aston Martin. He has made a lot of gains, even though he joined the quali pretty late and didn't wasn't able to set a proper position. But yeah, P8 is a safe bet. He can try to challenge for a bit. Yeah, that's a free point. In 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 my right. opinion, that is a free point for them. Right. And uh, obviously, as we are heading into our last lap, uh, uh, the, the quick killer, the Alpha Tori, has uh, set a purple sector in, in uh, purple lap in sector one, and is still going to get chased by the Haas. They will be going till the end, man. And yeah, it's uh, rather safe. I'm sorry, uh, situation here, but uh, obviously you can see me has emerged as a contender on this track, and that is what we are here for. And we we got. robbed of half a sprint race today but the gap is there is only almost car lens between them will the haas try to make a move possibly and again we can see the haas has just set a purple sector so he is causing the gap he might try to make a move here if he is bold enough they are going to come across turn 9 going into turn 10 and there's a spin he the haas almost oh my it. god he goes uh, off into the ball from p2 uh, He might oh, just end up somewhere where he will not be having any single uh, point. He, He's turning half back half. now. He's P5, P5 right now. So oh, yeah, from P2 having a great fight for that single point. He he took the he took the bet and he missed out. He lost out terribly. Uh, yeah, I told you it's not about uh, really winning it, uh, winning it out, but uh, surviving it out. So yeah. Right. Ha- he wasn't able to survive there yeah the hasbro got won't be happy with that of course 
Oh man, I told you that it was better to be safe than sorry because he was already on the front row, but now he is demoted to third row and uh, yeah, not uh, the condition, not the circumstances that the husband boss would have wanted. But okay, that was uh, that was uh, uncalled for in my opinion, and uh, I don't think there's anyone else to blame other than the Haas. But yeah, all our uh, racers have managed to finish except our two guys who had uh, issues uh, when the race started but yeah that's your great lead then gentlemen big killer has usurped the front row he will start p1 tomorrow and we have a red bull kind of who was you know mainly running in p3 but now will be running on the front row he might try to challenge for the win and yeah we are gearing for, for a mega a mega red bull battle man today and it's all up for grabs now it now everything will turn on its head and uh, we already have a couple of laps in front of us so stay tuned we will join you right back so in the meanwhile such and let us discuss uh, some stuff about the tracks about the strategy so in case of dry conditions what do you think the optimal condition would be uh, uh we are having our 50 50 percent race distance right. so i think uh, going from uh oh my god it is so i mean there is obviously a possibility of safety car coming in so i might just start on mediums and uh, just see how long it can go and then you know go on again on to medium and then i think double pit stop might come into the play for right. me going on to medium medium soft or if uh, if to be bold then medium to hard yeah, because uh, there's a lot of degradation on this track and the high number of laps because it is the shortest circuit on the calendar. But, uh, you know, if there is no safety car, if and if I had to make a two-stop, I would go from mediums to hearts and back to mediums just to be safe and if I have a stable position. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, high chances, uh, high chances that uh, the safety car might come out. At any given point, as uh, the, our racers currently are setting up their cars, properly choosing the right setup today. So, who do you, whom do you placing the money on today, Sachin? So we have already seen a great improvement from I'm that hit. So and Archit is also fast, and you can't see me. Just had an un unfortunate last lap incident. Otherwise, he was there with the quick killer. So there will be sure fight going on from P1 to P8 up to ABD. We'll be trying to get on to, you know, a podium. Right. So yeah, much fighting to be seen. Even we have Deadly Mosquito at P10. And we should not forget that Easy Level Bot will be starting dead last from P14. So yeah, many right. fights to be witnessed today. Yeah, so obviously straight line speed is king here in Austria. We obviously have three... Uh, different DRS zones, so obviously a lot of overtaking opportunities, and but some turns that we uh, people would have to be cautious about. As we can see, that there's a mix of mediums and soft runners today. Okay, uh, in real life, usually people started with the mixture of mediums and hards, but uh, if uh, you are counting on safety car, which is which might happen, it's uh, a safer bet would be to go on to the softs, then on to mediums. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have five lights in front of us. And I'm and... not able to go back somehow. My screen has stuck. Oh, my God. All this right, is... here we go. Lights out and we go. And Austria, quick killer, is currently heading, going to turn one by himself. I'm that hit has made a position. P2, Silvicate so drops onto P3. You can see me and Humble God having a huge trust on De Deadly Mosquito. The Alpine just overtook Chakrish and Guni is now coming back. And it is, and the, the Alpine of Deadly Mosquito has just dropped off a lot of positions. And Humble God, and you can see me, are just making, exchanging a lot of positions. There's a huge battle. And Ajay Kumar now joins the mix for the battle position of p5 you can see me humble god are going sideways and there's and there's a huge there's a huge crash humble god has and ajay kumar has just gone out uh, going into uh, turn four all right sajansan are you witnessing this chaos i'm because... not able to because my game has somehow stuck and i need you to somehow invite me right, back right, again right right right, right, right as right, i have right, to right. join in back i'm so sorry i don't know why he right, right. created such okay. ruckus doing it copy but yeah just send me an invite again right 
I've sent you an invite. You can join in on the chaos, ladies and gentlemen, as we have a safety car. Obviously, we had to have one, but I don't think anyone would be diving into the pits. Quickler had a pretty good start already. He capitalized on the chaos, which transpired behind him. And now okay, get, uh, developed a gap of three seconds over I'm that hit. And you can see me is coming into the pits right now. As we can see, must be having uh, some kind of damage or he might take a wager. Let us see, ladies and gentlemen, I think he must have suffered a damage because he was batting hard with those runners. And obviously, yeah, front wing changed for the house today. All right, house won't be happy with that. Obviously, with the massacre that happened in the exact final seconds of the sprint race yesterday. Sachin Sen, have you joined us? Uh, right I'm still on this communicating with the online service. I, I must say, EA really sucks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired, but yeah, yeah. it is what it is. I mean, I was on director screen and from there I was not able to come, up, come back somehow. Right. Why? Right. So now, no issues because, uh, yeah, lots of Okay, lots of battle going into the first lap, 25 laps remaining, uh, 23 laps remaining right now with the safety car, which will probably go out soon. And we wait for our competitor's feed to come back on. In the meanwhile, uh, Haas will get the opportunity to catch up back to the field. Maybe if he is lucky, he might try to make sure the tire goes right till the end, but I won't depend on it. So, so far. Our uh, gainers, you know. Yep, I'm back in, I'm back in. Right. Okay, Humble right. God and Ajay Kumar is already out. Oh my God, I've missed a lot. Right. Two cars are already so, out. Yeah. So, so far, as I was saying, Redman, Goni and Easy Level Bot have made up a stack rate five places. Going up the grid, Vision and AVD have gained two positions. The Aston Martin overtook and the, there's a scuffle going between, before, between the Williams and the Red Bull and someone has dived into the pits. You can see me has dived into the pits. All right, uh, what happened again? The Haas are quickly losing position. That is unexpected. Uh, that was not uh, called for, but yeah, that's pretty strange. And yeah, obviously it must have got a time penalty because the mechanics are just waiting and he have will switch on to, yeah, he's currently switching on to medium tires right now. So I think hard tires, yeah, hard hard tire, hard tire could have been a choice to you know go on till end, become Alex Albon and manage those tires. Right. But uh, yep. So bad already, day for him. Yeah, you can see that. You can see me has now made two stops right now. Um, I don't know why did he make that second stop. He there was uh, nothing wrong with the uh, car, and if the safety car comes in this lap, he will have a lot of deficit to cover up on the medium tires and I'm not sure that you can yep, safety car is in this lap and yep he is still 15 All seconds right, away from the last that car that's just unfortunate he, the Haas has thrown this uh, race today almost and but I think he'll reach I think he'll reach bro, and join the bunch I think he will join back right alright that's good but meanwhile we see that quick killer currently leading the race he might try to get away early catch the I am that hit leaping again like he did during the sprint race today and he has started he might be yeah he's not getting away quickly and uh, currently teasing up with the throttle and uh, yeah he might take this opportunity but yeah the alpatori is not in much in a hurry the astromat is closing right behind him and he has gone off yep he has he taken has, off finally yeah. And right. now we'll so see ERS quite a tussle happening at the back. Uh, we can see many cars. Generally, Mosquito has left the session somehow. I don't know what has happened there. But right. Vision coming close to Sid Venkatesh. And uh, Deadly Mosquito has received a five-second penalty for ignoring yellow flag. I don't know if it was him or AI. But yeah. yeah. It must have messed up in the AI because obviously uh, the switching of the controls back to the artificial intelligence control cars is a pretty sketchy in this game. But okay that is unfortunate for the alpine the Haas are not having good days today oh currently the one of the uh, one vision is sitting at p5 and there's a little switcheroo going between the ferrari of easy level port and Haas. and now again red man has received a three second time penalty he must not be keeping his car in between the lines and must have been cutting corners it is very tough actually if you're being honest so currently, uh, not much action going on. Archit might try to challenge. I am that hit for P2. There is action happening between Vision and Sid Venkatesh as they go alongside in the final oh, two right-hander. Okay. 
and these are oh my god he, yeah, oh. going into that yeah last time he almost put him by that he might take it up with the stewards later on but the sedvacatish and the vision currently on one, one is on each other's rear bumper right now so he might try to make an action when the drs comes up currently one more lap to go two guys have already received a time penalty gooney he has just uh, is making a move on red man meanwhile dendy mosquitoes ai is still on the track he's still racing and and yeah, one of the one of the cars has just gone by right. that red was mercedes gone. also the uh, mercedes also right. somehow came in and joined in and now entered the points right and now currently red man is currently running p11 that was not if he had in scarts jagdish and red man are currently making their own race right now currently sending p10 and p11 for that one solitary point out of this weekend today but yeah okay there is a cosmos scuffle someone is going to guni has now go okay has is not today is just not has's day as they have totally dropped out of the point say guni had a little bit of a scuffle in the going into that second sector and still, out yeah. of all of this uh, mercedes is getting gaining more positions um, i mean right. he's moved on all to p8 right. yeah yeah don't don't say anything about him <laughs> let him cook yeah we'll see how it transpires because there's only a soul must be still running today and uh, yeah not much hope hanging on but if he can keep the car on track maybe that curse might get lifted off and the abta and easy level bot going at it AB, easy level bot gets pushed wide but and he might yeah he will get uh, the drs boost the ferrari going into turn 4 it is very crucial goes on the inside line elbows out of abd and all of course on the gravel trap you know that was pretty risky but the ferrari will take take the outside line and will uh, emerge ahead of the aston martin bold move in my opinion such in that yeah that was, was like, yeah. bold uh, trying on to the second turn and then to the fourth turn i mean uh, that is bold that is bold from ferrari and moved on to p6 now and uh trying to get away from that drs zone from abd uh right. but i think he will get the drs this time right uh, and meanwhile uh, come over to uh, p3 no. and p2 and that hit and archit going at it archit is using that drs boost he maximizing the impact as much as he can might try to take a bold move going into turn 3 turn 3 is very vicious if you're not careful safe he goes in turn 3 gets the drs boost going downhill and now i am that hit he will have a challenge from the williams currently the aston martin running in the podium position so everything is up for grabs right now and uh, back there jagadesh has lost uh, those couple of position he gained earlier <sighs> and okay. uh, still in the points still in the points and yeah. uh, you can't see me is fighting with deadly mosquito as he jumps on the inside and deadly mosquito coming back on the outside stays ahead on the outside line now switching up ahead and uh, will take that p8 away from you can't see me but uh, they both are still fighting quite close and up front i can see vision is also closing up on say dwenkatesh so yep right. multiple fights happening uh, on the short circuit right well, All right, all right. Check this. Uh, actually, I had a talk with the driver today, and he wanted, you know, a little bit of highlight in on his own stream in his own car. So yeah, switch over to P10, so we can show the viewers how the Mercedes is faring so far. <laughs> he might try to make a move on Guni, but already out of the DR zone by almost a couple of hundreds. Uh, yeah, not will not be getting that boost. The Mercedes currently running P10. My only has to defend against the McLaren and the Haas. Meanwhile, Sid Bengatesh and Vision going right at it. And Archer and I have hit have just uh, exchanged positions. The uh, Williams going on the outside. I'm that hit doesn't have an answer for that. Barely have enough ER zone to find. And Vision also just made a move on uh, Sid Bengatesh going on the inside on the fourth turn. And now up ahead going through these medium speed left handers. and right. yeah quite a quite a movement happening on the track i'm happy to see so many fights and so many fair fights happening no one going right. off the track and colliding into each other yeah so no great stuff so far but uh, somehow the starting of this rings has been very cursed we had both on both occasions of the feature race and the sprint race we had two dns right in the start and that was and due to like exact totally unforeseen circumstances and all right say it who has received a time penalty now now the mercedes yeah. driver jagadesh has received a 3 second time penalty ah, for going jagadesh. off the track Gee, damn it man 
<laughs> I was really expecting that you know there would be would shine a little bit of a lucky charm today, but yeah, getting back onto our uh, fight with Vishant and Venkatesh, the Red Bull will be getting DRS right behind them. It's easy level bot. All of these these guys surviving for the position of P4 right now. Both of both three of them go down the hairpin safely. That's pretty good. The Vision has a lot of. Yeah, the spoon stored in him and uh, Sid Venkatesh has this. Yeah, these three guys might try to go at it. And there's a scuffle. The, uh, the vision spins and gains the position back with Red Bull, but still manages to hold that one to that position of P4 right now. And we have a virtual safety car because we have might have have a uh, casualty again. I don't know. Yeah, Red Man has just spun and we have a virtual safety car now. And he is. Oh man, that was a great fight going on there between Vision, yeah. Sid Venkatesh, and Easy Level Bot. Right, the vision, uh, vision almost lost his balance. Going into yep, the... I was right on them, but uh, I don't know how Redman lost his right. front wing and will now surely jump into the pits. Right. I'll do ABD. Oh my God! For the like first time, he's jumping into the pits. Oh my God! He's what first. Happened? He's he's being the first to go in. One of the All soft right. runners, and he's also switching his wing, so that will take a lot of time. And right. will put him all the way back, uh, if not all the way back, P11, I suppose. Yeah. Right, right, right. Because obviously Redman has come into the pits, but and I think ABD might have his work cut out for him because it's still a virtual safety car and uh, not not anyone is under the constraint of pitting at the moment. None of the cars will not be bunched up. They'll be just be going slower by around 40 percent. But yeah. yeah. Haas driver, yeah, receiving a drive-through penalty for ignoring yellow flag. And, and yeah, there's a car, there's a car which has spun. It's deadly mosquitoes AI. Uh, I don't know if he's driving the car or the AI is, but that AI is causing a lot of issues he... going into this corner. And he just overtook a Haas. What the hell? <laughs> yep, yeah, I don't know what is happening. He overtook uh, Jagadesh and uh, the Haas there. Yeah, the Haas there. I'm so sorry. And right. uh, yep, I don't know if it's AI or uh, he himself. Right, because, because, because this AI was being a little uh, bit of uh, suspicious, in my opinion, was making some fundamental rules of virtual safety. But yeah, anyhow, currently running P9. So if deadly, it, if it is deadly mosquito who's currently racing, might be happy because I think he must have taken advantage when the race went green flag. And there's a switch of positions. You can see me has. Yet again, come to the pit. Yeah, to first. serve that uh, drive through, and now there is a scuffle happening between Sid Venkatesh and Vision, and also right. Easy Level Bot joining in the party. Uh, Two yeah, cars yeah. with DRS, and both of them going along. Oh my God, that again we are seeing. Uh, right, and and the Ferrari goes takes the inside line, emerges ahead into P4, and uh, say, Vision has lost two positions in at once. The Red Bull has capitalized on the destruction caused by the Ferrari, and yeah, will be hunting to take that position back. But anyhow, uh, Quick Killer has emerged with a lead of four seconds. Archer is uh, leading with a three-second gap between and that head. Easy level bot is currently having a massive test. Will go with a uh, Red Bull is spinning away. Ground and round goes Sid oh, Venkatesh and into man. the pits. Now I don't know what happened there, but yeah, he's diving into the pits right away after uh, that, that scuffle. Right, I did. I think must have lost all his traction in his wheels. Will be coming down to the pits. 13 laps to go. Is it a safe bet to switch on to the soft tires now? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. As a deadly mosquito, he will make a move on the Mercedes of Jagadesh going on the inside of the first turn and he will stick that rightfully and will take that lead away. And uh, yep, I think that is deadly mosquito, not the AI now for right. sure. Uh, I don't right. see AI That's making great. such moves. <laughs> so yeah, Jagdesh having having has he pitted? Yeah, he at least pitted at least once so far. No, no, not not have pitted. Currently running P7, might try to drop down too, but he has to be very careful when uh, Mercedes is running into the points using all this ERS on the straight, uh, he might try to make a move on Deadly Mosquito and goes around, dances around Deadly Mosquito and takes P6. That was, uh, oh my god, there's a, oh my god, that was wrong from Deadly right, Mosquito, right. what he did there. No, Deadly, I, th I think he just went into the Mercedes, the Mercedes yep. was affected, but yeah. Uh, F around and find out for the LP today. What is happening? I have so many of our potential front runners are having terrible races. So the horses are not having a good day at all today. Uh, and yeah, currently Vision and Jagdesh have dived into the pits. Jagdesh should be coming to change him from soft tires. Meanwhile, Vision 
is coming out to Mediums. medium tires now. Yep. Right, great. So yeah, it all c- comes around to how well he, they strategize. Currently, ABD is sitting at P8 right now. I t- he has taken a few positions. Meanwhile, so far, Guni is level board. I'm that hit. Urchin and Quick Killer have yet to dive into the pits. But there's a massive gap between the Ferrari and the Alpine, so I think it's a safe bet to say that Ferrari might be sitting, you know, comfortably, uh, but they possibly might end up challenging for one of the podium positions if he actually tries to make an undercut. So yeah. Yeah, by him that hit is now in the pits uh, on the soft. He was running on soft and now will come out on the mediums. So Vision might just, I think he will, no, he will not be able to make that undercut happen on I am that hit as he is now exiting the pit lane on to right. the right hander and Vision has just come on to the main straight. Uh, he's, yeah, he's off by a lot today. So yeah, not possible for the tussle between the Aston Martin and the Alpine. Easy level but now only four drivers remain to make a mandatory pit stop. Uh, Guni might try, yeah, Guni has just stepped out into the pits. He would go from softs to medium tires, yeah, and yes, he does. Great stop from the half team who are having a rather unlucky race today. But uh, uh, overall, uh, you can see he has uh, made uh, quite a lot of positions, currently setting P6. Would have, should have challenged for the win today, but yeah, that incident at the final turn in the sprint race had, uh, you know, removed all his chances to capitalize today. So, unfortunate for the Haas team where it's pretty much the same case as what happens to them in real life because you know they might have decent quality results but their car also eats tires but uh, in the simulation world it was uh, you know due to several incidents on the behalf of the drivers and circumstances that the Haas are currently running P6 and one Haas is out of the points currently running P11 so whom do we uh, whom are we looking at right now Sachin? So I'm looking at uh, I'm that hit uh, pacing out on his fresh mediums and easy level bot running on his old mediums. So any undercut overcut might we might just see happening around P4 P3, and uh, uh, because there is a sufficient gap I must say between I'm that hit and Archit and also from Quick Killer. Quick Killer is quite safe I must tell you. It uh, will right. be just a matter of like who will dive in first. It will be Archit or Quick Killer. We have to wait in the see that right. as uh, quick killer goes on to 16th lap now still on right. on his old mediums ah well medium tires can last so long and if he only nine laps to go and deadly mosquito takes the fastest lap at 106.7 that's great he's currently running on the soft tires but out of the that, point so uh, yeah. <laughs> that won't uh, yeah, uh, create well, any you right. know happiness yeah, for the team yeah. yeah still a wager that uh, they have taken and ABD, all right, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it has to come as we discussed in the wet race also that uh, even in the dry run, there is a huge potential for people receiving time penalties going off the track or cutting the corners to gain right. maximum speed as Sid Venkatesh receives a three second time penalty. All right, okay. So there are four consecutive positions currently having a time penalty of sorts. So that would, you know, help uh, the Haas of You Can See Me to capitalize on the penalties and try to ensure, you know, uh, try damage limitation today. Currently, said is on hard tires right now also. So yeah, pretty uh, rough running in front of him currently for the next nine laps. And uh, our top three runners, podium runners, I haven't come into the pits yet. We only have eight laps to go at the Austrian Grand Prix. Take us away, Sachinson. I think now they can pit any time, like... Uh, uh... Because all that can uh, harm is I'm that hit catching up to them or catching up to even easy level bot to snatch that final podium position. So I think easy level bot at least should have pitted. He hasn't right. done it yet, but uh, yeah. In the next two laps, we might just see all of these three going into the pits and switching on to the soft compound. Ah, uh, that's great. I think they must be vying for the fastest lap. Who will try to? get maximized it because there is now a very significant gap between the top three runners my it might be a guarantee our podium today if uh, there is not a safety car in the upcoming lap still a pretty decent portion of the race to go ladies and gentlemen our uh, some uh, our victims who have received a penalty today at this very infamous track which is known for that is uh, abd said venkatesh uh, redman and jagadesh today so 
anything can, is can happen actually um currently only said venkatesh is running on so archit is the first one to jump into the pits as we were discussing earlier so archit goes into the pits and uh as so goes uh, easy level bot so quick killer is the only one now left right. to dive into the pits Right. So now let's see where I'm that hit will come out and for sure he will be coming out in front of easy level bot but will he be coming out of front of Archit also right. he's utilizing all his ERS to make sure that he makes the uh, pretty huge undercut and yes uh, he does make that huge and, undercut and yeah and Archit, Archit comes out to P3 behind the Aston Martin but the I would have to say that Martin is almost out of juice right now. Make and we will have to make sure that he retains the position as much as he can. As easy level bot is trying to make a move on the has going into turn uh, turn three right now. Takes the inside line. Uh, they almost I think they almost touched there, but easy level bot will be getting to the other spots. He will come at the has yet again. All oh, right, this is turning out to be a huge mega battle before one of the participants just happened to drop out which was very unfortunate so and now quick killer has jumped into the pits finally and right. uh, he yeah. has ha he's having that sufficient gap to right. come out it's of the pit yeah, almost a free pit stop goes on to the soft tire so yet again i think this is the third week running that quick killer will take the win today yep uh, mighty pace from him all throughout the session from right. quali to Sprint and now easy level bot making that move finally on Haas. Uh, easy level bot, as I discussed, is the biggest loser of pitting out late. He should have pitted earlier to maintain the, any chance of having a podium. But okay. now I am that hit in Aston Martin. Right. Running he quite close to Archit. Um, okay, so yeah. we might go to the end with the podium finishers today uh, the williams is catching behind the rear of the aston martin taking it off the circuit of the slipstream is not going to make a move going to the hairpin as he knows that how lucky how unlucky actually the cars have been particularly if you're a mercedes and red Bull going into that turn yep <laughs> yeah but uh, he might try to utilize the three dr zones as much as he can to their maximum potential to make the move for p2 right now but yeah, pretty good strategy on behalf of the Williams, having come right behind the Aston Martin. And yes, just going to my tussle off the almost off the track. He will get TRS, and then yeah, I think it will. You he will he try to make a yep, yep, for sure, for sure. I right. think he might just jump into the inside and try to make that. But oh no, oh, he just, oh my god, this contact is contact, and the, the Aston Martin goes wide a lot. Yeah, loses the position. And there is sector uh, caution flag, yellow flag in sector two. Red man seems to have stopped his car and has gracefully retired. But I yeah, don't know I think, what happened I think the, there? Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, I think I think the stewards will have a look at that contact which they had going to turn one, and now there's a gap of a second behind between the Williams and the Aston Martin. So I don't know. Okay. I was hoping for him to make a move on the inside, but somehow he kept on the back right. and uh, yeah, what happened right. in the braking yeah. zone is I think uh, they had a bit of a contact which made I'm that hit right. go and, wide yeah and, and yeah and someone has just collided and Guni has now collided oh man uh, not a day to remember for the Haas team and he has lost his front wing he will be now be out of the points if he comes into the pits uh, unless there's a safety car he might try to make moves only one only one and he has spun also okay um and this is just not <laughs> their day today i can see it? easy level bot now closing up on vision who is currently p4 going on to the turn one still staying behind and uh, i think on to the next turn turn three or turn four we might see a move happening for p4 let's see right Right, so about that incident between the Williams and the Aston Martin, I saw that, you know, uh, moving under braking is uh, very much prohibited right now. And But he should have just come out of the slipstream of uh, the Aston Martin at the time when he made that move. But and he, uh, meanwhile, Vision has uh, forsaken his that position of P4, giving Ferrari the chance to take, uh, take that position and run away with it. So, yeah, 
uh, pretty hardcore pattern going on between the two cars right now. The Ferrari still have a lot of juice when it comes to his ERS, but obviously three DRS zones yet to go. Easy level bot has improved by two tenths going into the sector. In the meanwhile, ABD is currently running P7, Sid Venkat HP8, Chakdesh P9, but uh, finally Mercedes is in the points if he somehow manages to keep the Alpine of Deadly Mosquito behind him. And yeah, Guni has just come into the pits for his second stop today and he will be switching on to soft tires. Three laps to go and Quick Killer is obviously would emerge as the race winner. Uh, so what do you think? Yeah, quite uh, quite an easy race for him, I must uh, tell that. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can't see me he's making a move on Vision. Vision losing two positions in the two laps now. As you can't see me also receiving a time penalty there going wide on turn oh, three. Man. Uh, inside of making that overtake so yeah right now he's in front but uh, yeah virtually he's behind vision right 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 that won't help him at all with his battle with easy level board but this uh, unusual two-stop strategy has somehow uh, you know made the day for the has could have challenged for the win today but again uh, why do we why do we come back on the same topic it's already spilled milk but currently quick killer is making a huge lead over Archit. Archit may won't be trying to challenge him today. I'm that hit comfortably sitting at P3 right now, followed by Easy Level Bot. Yeah, you can see me is trying to give him a challenge with a vision, uh, Alpine's uh, vision behind him. ABD currently our st huge star, our uh, form, uh, former uh, you know uh, world champion from the previous season, currently sitting P7. So yeah, it's it is what it is today, and uh, yeah. Has not coming out as the victor is gonna hurt, but uh, it is, uh, yeah, it is what it is, lady, today. And uh, yeah, hopefully, he will have better races, but today, it uh, Austria just wasn't the opportunity to, you know, ensure the maximum potential of that car. And he, he is, he is still trying to chase that position of P4 away right. from easy level bot, and right, he yeah, is clear. Is, yeah. He's Vishnu clear of three seconds. Yeah, he's uh, clear of three seconds away from Vision though. And Jagadesh has lost the position of P9 to Deadly Mosquito. He has moved right. down to P10, but, right. and, but they and they are fighting. And they are contact. And Deadly Mosquito, all right. Jagadesh, um, and I I think that this was would be blamed here. on him. Right, yep, he, yep, that yep. was a very dirty move. But I think with Guni behind by almost 50 seconds, yeah, Deadly Mosquito will be guaranteeing himself a point today. Uh, might no, no, might be walking out lucky with a smile on his face. But yeah, as we uh, wait for our final lap to begin. Yep, I'm just happy think, that yeah. uh, my prediction of uh, keeping these three drivers in the top three, Quick Killer, Archit, and I'm that it's that it is true, is becoming true till now. I don't want right. the sprint like action happening again. But right. uh, I don't yeah. think, yeah, major scuffle only, which is uh, happening between the Ferrari and the Haas right now. We will catch up with them. The Haas might try to challenge him. He still has a time penalty. I don't think it would help him, but uh, yeah, might uh, try to scare Easy Level Bot into a mistake there. Possible, very possible. As finally, we are on lap 25, our final lap of today's feature race. Quick Killer is our guaranteed winner if he doesn't mess up any of the corners but obviously he's an impeccable driver does not make any mistakes and yet again uh, carrying on the name and legacy of Alpha Tori formerly known as Toro Rosso has paid off very perfectly he's emulating Sebastian Vettel today and he will obviously take the win of the Austrian Grand Prix and will extend his lead over all the drivers in this league so yeah that's good. We got, had some pretty decent amount of racing. Only a singular, I think, two virtual safety cars and a proper safety car today. So not much chaos as the last time we came here over here into Austria. But uh, yeah, must commend him. Very consistent driving on behalf of Quick Killer. The Alpha Tori has, uh, you know, braved through safety cars, through uh, having made proper strategies, and he comes around and Quick Killer will take the win at the Austrian Grand Prix. He wins today and yeah, uh, dominated the field, started first, finished first. That is pretty great in my opinion. Won't you yeah, say perfect, perfect score for him uh, in this session, in this whole weekend, I must say. And Urchid finishing on P2 and uh, through now will come. I am that it for the final podium position of P3. 
easy level bot uh, maintaining that p4 away from you can't see me and you can't see me finishing a p5 which uh, was his position in the sprint at the end vision p6 abd uh, will finish i think p7 or p8 or is he after the timings settled down it is right, p7 no change. yeah if no changes there jagdesh all right the mercedes finally takes home some points today yeah so that would be great but yeah, it all came down to the immense bad luck for the Alpine and the Haas today. And Jagdish has received yet another three-second time penalty. Uh, well, at this point, no one cares. Six-second time penalty yep. won't yeah, for make any deficit. But he wanted the focus. He got the focus. The Mercedes finally having a little bit of luck today. Finished in, in the top 10. Jagdish comes P9. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We had... Uh, we're pretty decent Austrian Grand Prix. Not much, uh, you know, killing out there. Not much terrorism today. But yeah, pretty great upgrade in the racing quality of this league, right? Yep, that is true. An easy level bot receiving the driver of the day. Uh, that is, I, mean, I think that is quite apt. Starting from yeah. the back and finishing P4. So, yep, here is our winner. Quick killer. Quite an uh, easy prediction, I must say. We were missing some quick drivers today. But uh, yeah, quick killer, easily winning this one. So yeah, three, uh, that's three wins in a row, if I remember correctly. And yeah, after a two week break, obviously he would, he has the, has the perfect um, opportunity to start off the second half of the league races and has maximized his potential. Eight points from the sprint race, 26 points from the feature race totaling up to 34 points overall that is immense lead in my opinion that is great for him good for him and deadly mosquito takes home a solitary point jagdish takes home two points uh, humble got three points and yeah uh abd seven points one from the sprint and six from the feature but our uh, you know huge winners today quick killer archer and that hit many huge congratulations and thank you viewers for joining our live stream at the austrian grand prix Yep, and I think, uh, let's see, we are waiting for any sort of podium interviews happening today because uh, that is something right. we <laughs> try to do on and off uh, with the availability of drivers being there. But uh, right. I don't think so it is happening today. All right, that's no issues. Well, we had a very plain race <laughs> for once. So obviously we'll be looking... I think I, I personally want a lot of chaos in the race. <laughs> I like it <laughs> so when we have multiple safety cars and uh, somehow a new uh, of a combatant emerges. But uh, yeah, I uh, this was a pretty clean Austrian Grand Prix. So enjoy yourself, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, where are we heading off to next time, Sachin? Any ideas? Yeah, we will be going now from Austria. We'll be going to France, uh, one of the circuit where we'll not be racing in real life, but you'll be watching it all happening in JKG's second season of Formula 1, 21st September, round 10, and we go racing in France. Right. You know, uh, I'll make a really bad joke right now. What is something that you can say about your girlfriend but not about Paul Ricard it's flat it's flat <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god ah, man. Man. Uh, okay. terrible joke okay. I know <laughs> alright okay. ladies and gentlemen see you next time and uh, yeah enjoy yourself